and ahead of another college football game day, I like to always get you prepared for what's on deck for the Southern Oregon Raiders. But this week, I want to give a little more attention to the boys in red and black, because for the first time in six years, the Raiders are on a three-game win streak and hungry to keep going. In their last three wins, the Raiders offense has produced 114 points, becoming the only team in the country to go 24 of 24 in the red zone with 20 appearances resulting in touchdowns. And the defense has only given up 25 points in their last three outings, putting them at number 23 on the national leaderboard, allowing an average of only 18.4 points per game. To say the Raiders are starting to hit their stride would be an understatement. In the, in the win that got them to lucky number three, SEU kept Montana State Northern to only 69 yards of total offense, which is the lowest total in program history against a Frontier Conference opponent. It's it's great. It's I mean it's always good to be winning and um, yeah I mean it's a good feeling for sure. I mean the team morale is up right now. Uh, practices are a ton of fun. Everybody's having a great time with everything that we're doing, and it just feels like for the first time that we've really you know bonded together and we're heading in the same direction together. So it's an awesome feeling, and then obviously the wins help with that too. It's just it's exciting. It's exciting. And the Raiders look to keep the win streak alive this Saturday against the Carroll Fighting Saints. All time against Carroll, the Raiders are 9-8 overall, 8-6 in FC play, and 6-2 and while playing the Fighting Saints at Raiders Stadium. In the latest NAIA Top 25, Carroll fell from number 6 to number 11 after their loss to College of Idaho. But rankings don't mean anything to SOU. They're excited to welcome in Carroll and send them back to Montana with a loss. I think the, the greatest thing about this Saturday is, is we're playing an important game in October and there's a lot of college football teams right now who'd be loving to play in a situation where we're in where we control our own destiny a little bit. We're going to have to rattle off three wins here in a row and Carroll presents a heck of a challenge, right, um, as, as we make a push, right, to, to, to vie for the conference championship and maybe sneak into the playoffs. So it's a big one for, the, for not only, you know, just for us, for this football program, you know, hasn't been in this type of game since. 2017 so we're, we're really excited.